This is a John Deere 859MH tract harvester. It was made by Ertl, and it's in 150th scale. This thing is pretty cool. It is part of the Prestige collection, so it means it has a little bit more, a uh, little more high detail features than the average Ertl models. But uh, it, it is missing any hydraulic hoses, which isn't a big deal because it, the model kind of makes up for it in other areas. And this thing really is pretty cool, especially from Ertl. Now, this is a tract harvester. It has a Warta. I think, that's, I think I'm pronouncing that right. War, warta, Warta, Warta. Uh, processing head on it. And I, I don't know if this is meant to be used as a tree saw. I don't think it is. I, I'd imagine if you really had to, you could. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's meant to go up all the way. Really, this is more for processing. Where you take the, the trees that are already down. And it uh, will cut them to length. It'll delimit. You got these little uh, clamps here that'll pick up the logs and it'll help delimit these uh, rollers here. We'll force it through. And this little yellow thing right here is a counter. So whatever length you're trying to get out of these logs, it will automatically run them out, uh, cut it to length, and then run the next section out. And, you know, it, it processes the logs. That's what it does. So it's pretty cool. Now this head is entirely plastic. I don't think there's any metal on here at all. But it is pretty neat. You got your saw at the front, and then you have another saw uh, down here at the at the base too. So, like, if you have a little bit too much of a stump and it's not the right size, you can cut that end off and then run it through. It, it's a pretty neat tool. It really is. It takes so much uh, manual labor out of forestry. It's really pretty amazing, to be honest. Uh, now, as far as this track harvester itself it is really pretty cool obviously it's got the metal tracks which is nice from Ertl but you also have this oh my goodness you also have this uh I don't even know what you would call it it's a kind of like a rough terrain turntable base sort of thing you have a set of cylinders here and you also have a pivot so if you're working this thing on the hillside and it's pretty steep you can just uh basically Hydraulically adjust your undercarriage to keep the house, you know, either semi-level or close to level or level enough to work. I mean, you can only get so much of an angle out of the model, but these things can get pretty darn steep uh, and still be able to work and hold on to the hillside, which is really, really pretty cool. Now, the cab detail is decent. It's not, you know, nothing terrible. It's kind of hard to see in there. It's sort of dark, but it is pretty neat. You can see that you have that... uh I don't want to call it bulletproof glass, but it is impact resistant. It, it's safety glass. Because obviously, you know, you're going to have tree parts flying all over the place. You don't want anything getting inside the cab there. Uh, now, this does have some panels that open up. This one is really hard to get open. Uh, I struggled to get it open earlier. I don't think I'm going to get it open now. Uh, anyway, it opens up and you can see the hydraulic hoses. The only hydraulic hoses on the machine, they're right there, uh, which is neat. This whole entire panel folds down. You can see the motor and uh, the emissions and all that fun, happy stuff. And then this other panel opens up in the front too. And you can see the hydraulic pumps for the machine. So it's really pretty cool. I love that Ertl does this high detail stuff. They typically do a pretty good job with it. Um, I, an awful lot of this is plastic though which is disappointing but it's kind of the way things are going especially with Ertl uh, the range of motion isn't great like this will come straight out but that right there is as far as that stick cylinder will come come back in the boom cylinders are okay not perfect it's average for Ertl you know it's it's Ertl so Overall, though, it really is a cool, it's a cool model. It's great with all the, you know, it's, it's great to have with all the other Forester stuff. It's cool that Ertl and Deer really go out of their way to make the Forestry models. Uh, I, I think they're pretty proud of their footprint in the Forestry uh, business. And I think they really, well, that's one of the reasons why they really do try to, uh, you know, Put the models out there anyway 
overall it's a pretty cool model especially for whatever reason you can find these for fairly cheap at the moment so if if you're thinking about it i'd say now's the time to do it if you're going to get one they really are pretty cool the paint looks good all the decals look great it looks fantastic sitting on the shelf and it, like i said it, there is a lot of plastic but you don't really notice it outside of this harvesting head here or processing head whatever you want to call it overall it's really pretty nice especially for myrtle anyway that's about all i got for this if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask if there's something you want to see let me know i might just have it uh, if you want to see what else i have please subscribe to maryland construction diecast and as always thanks for watching